Alright, we're rounding up on that spot now. It's a bit of a trek through this area. Ooh! Nice little waterfall site. Can we get up the slope? Roach, no! A small slope! How will we conquer- oh, there we go. Oh, we got it. Kind of. Kind of. There we go. Oh, it's a castle. Let's go. Interesting. Can it, can it become my castle? Oh, we got hooligans. Oh. Get off the horse. Get off the horse. Get off the horse. Ow. Ow. Jesus. Excessive. I'm going indoors now. You guys can follow me. If you oh, crap. I'm stuck. I missed where I was going. There we go. Come get me, guys. I'm in here. You don't want to fight me? You want to fight indoors? I'm gonna go in here now, guys. You guys do what you do. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm gonna just burn you a little bit. There we go. Are they really just gonna let me wander into their camp? Like, no big deal? Wait, is this even my objective? Or did I wander into a random castle? That's close. Looks like it's just further inside the castle. Alright. Well, you're all alone, because your friends decided that you weren't worth helping, so... I'm sorry about that. that that's, this chest probably has the... Ah, uh, no, it's the bubbles over there. There's probably something in this chest, though. Ooh, Mahakan and Steel Sword. These guys are not fighting me. They just let me walk into their base. I'm just kill I'm just in here, like, lighting people on fire. Just having a swell old time like it's no biggie. Let's find this. I, I picked up a newt. A, a newt. A note. It'd be kind of funny if they didn't chase me in because they're like, oh, he, he's one of us. And then, like, the disguise totally worked. Orders for Ernst Goldst. Ernst, stay away from dead white, uh, dead white wood. Forest full of overgrown wolves, and the ground emits some kind of rancid gas. Plus, a week or so back, I sent a detachment of men there, told them they were to do a bit of reconnaissance, and but that was all hogwash. We'll, we'd finished scouting that place out long ago and know the woods a deadly trap. That's why I gathered up the worst of my lot, the ones who don't do a lick of good to make up the cost of feeding them, and send them to certain death. I know. I hear you asking. Is it adult's fault that he's adult? Well, these cretins could prove a serious threat to us in battle. During the last skirmish with Radovid's Reapers, two of these idiots failed to recognize our emblems on our shields in the, t in the heat of battle and attacked my own men. Which makes me wonder if those numbskulls even... Or, uh, if those numbskulls ever even made it to that wood. Oh. So he, he, he's, they're, apparently they're so stupid he doesn't even think that they will have successfully made it to their target. Let alone bested the cert challenge that was supposed to kill them on purpose. Ooh. I don't see anything over there though. That guy's about to shoot me, isn't he? Alright, so not a lot going on over here besides a little bit of color with that little quest, the little, uh, world detail. Fallen Knights. Not a happy bunch, are they? Oh, God. Slow- I got stuck doing, like, slow motion climbing. There's a lot of you guys around here. Alright. Good for you. Look at you guys having friends and stuff. Now you're on fire. Who's got- who's got a bow? Who's got a bow? Oh god. Alright, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them and some of them have bows. It's funny how... It's funny how bows are like by a mile the most threatening thing in this game. <laughs> Cause you wouldn't, you wouldn't quite expect it, but damn. They do a lot of damage and come out of nowhere. Melee fighters, easy. Right, a lot of them are on fire. He's on fire. Yay! Gonna about to make you guys actually fall in knights. Alright, that's, that, that's those two down. It's really fascinating to watch people not learn. It's like, you should probably run away from me. Probably shouldn't fight me. It's not really working out for the other 17 people I've killed. Wow, good aim. Die. <laughs> Your reward is death. Well, congrats on your aiming. There's another guy there. I see your crossbow. Ow, shit. That's not fair. I saw that. I literally saw that arrow change direction on its way to me. They, they auto-aim and, and, like, weirdly warp in midair, which is a- I'm a little iffy on that being a mechanic. Alright, we gotta get out of line of sight from these archers. Hey, Mr. Mail. Hey, shield guy, you wanna play? Shield guy. 
There we go. You're on fire. <laughs> I love the delayed reaction. Like, he doesn't quite know he's on fire yet. Just, he needs a moment to fully understand the gravity of the situation. Hey, buddy. You're dead. What? Uh, archers are almost dead now. Uh, they, all have, they all have bows. They all have bows. Ow, shit. Nah, I was... No! I was too slow. Crap, 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 crap. Bubble. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're good. I was just a tad too slow. I missed. Is he pulling out a, a sword at least? Run! All right. Get some of those hit points back again. Now that he's all on his own. Look at you. You ain't got no friends. What are you gonna do about that, huh? What are you gonna do about that? I should probably recast. There we go. Wait a moment before we bait it. All right, now come get me. Come get me, buddy. Yep. And you're on fire. How about you? Who, who's this asshole that just stayed out here and didn't help any of his friends? You guys really do have no loyalty to each other. Look at him dancing around with that bow. That's the most dangerous thing for me. You could have been there in that key moment where I was super vulnerable a second ago. Instead, you're dead. Just like everybody you ever knew. Maybe. Or not. You probably knew other people. Let's not be overly reductive about this. So many free swords! Yay! Gotta recoup the cost of all those, uh, rune writing supplies. That ga the game is chugging like crazy every time I try to open an inventory. There we go. Somewhere around here. Let's check all the boxes. Even if I don't want what's in them, I probably want what's in them anyway. That didn't make any sense. I'm just gonna roll with it. Gauntlets and letter with orders. Flaming Rose art. Yep, more Flaming Rose stuff. And I'm overburdened. Cool. I have grabbed too much Flaming Rose stuff, as it were. Oh wow, I'm 23 over, that's not good. Well, first to always go is these dumb black jacks. These useless chess pieces, wow. This piece of armor is so crappy that it doesn't even get a background color. Let's get rid of that. More melee weapons. Extra shirt. I've always tried to keep extra shirts around because the uh, making my griffin armor required a shirt, but then, that, then I never encountered that requirement again. And made me feel a little bit silly for worrying so much about if I had enough. Uh, these things cost two. The armors are probably really expensive, huh? I mean, heavy. Yeah, that, that's seven. Get rid of that one. Uh, the Flaming Rose armor is worth more, so I want to hold on to it if I can. Gauntlets. Here, these extra swords, these weaker ones. Oh, the yellow one's actually not worth that much more, apparently. I'll get rid of the less... Rare ones out of principle, though. Alright, now I, I can at least move. Gonna have to visit a vendor, maybe the one that sent me on the quest in the first place, so I can uh, unload some of this garbage I'm picking up. And we got another copy of the Diary of the Fire Swallower. I have so many books to read, I keep putting off reading anymore. Maybe that'll be something to do when I'm in my final, uh, like, once I've beaten both expansions, I'll probably have episodes where I'm just like, let's just do every side quest I have missed at this point, and I'll probably be like, every episode I'll probably read some diary that I haven't read yet or something. <laughs> There's so many. Louie, did you get that diagram from Rob? Make any progress? As soon as you make it out, so much as a word, uh, write directly to me, because that twat Rob will, will try something tricky. We're sitting on a gold mine, mate. We just gotta work out what's, a, what's scribbled on those papers, and we'll be chasing buyers off with a broom. So leave off raiding and robbing for the time being. Just sit in camp and work your noggins till you think of something, Ulrich. Whoops. I'm killing them all, so they're not gonna do that. But I imagine, uh... The situation here is that they, uh... They're all looking to betray their own leader. Which is reasonable, because he seems to be the type to betray his own people. Since he's like, these people are useful enough to me, I'll send them all on a death mission intentionally, so... Not a lot of reason to be super loyal to this guy. Ooh, I have a close by... a fast travel point, that'll be handy. Just go from this point. Right, we fought my, way, fought my way through the castle. But yeah, they, uh... Everyone, everyone in this organization seems ready to backstab each other. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the, he specifically... He, he acted like it was division of labor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually dividing the, the uh... schematics between all these different locations so that he can deal with the people who solve the schematics. And get rid of them so he can he can be have sole property over the knowledge perhaps seems like something that he might do just get a monopoly over the information by killing the people who solve the stuff for him 
and keep them separate from each other so they can't collude, although it doesn't seem to be entirely successful. Alrighty, we're about to go four for four. Ooh! Nasties. My horse feels nothing. Well, it fears a lot of things, but it doesn't fear stuff for long enough to throw me off. <laughs> the weird visualization of a mechanic. Here we go. Who wants to be set on fire next? Spoilers. Y'all in here? Oh, do I get to just grab it? Got it. Flaming Rose stuff. Oh, I'm overburdened again. Order of the Flaming Rose Sword. Letter with orders. That one just flat out says I've read it before. Interesting. Well, I believe I can just hop back on my horse, so I don't necessarily need to throw away this potentially valuable stuff. Come here. Actually, what's this? Is this the body of the person that was supposed to be guarding this place? Orders, an empty bottle. What happened here? There's just flat out no one guarding this one. I got a more... Kind of, yeah, this stuff's kind of valuable. I should find a, a vendor to sell this, this stuff, stuff to instead of dumping it. Quest items. Orders. Thunder. I'm warning you. Snort that much fist tech again and you'll end up a, at dead white wood just like that mad fist, uh... Fist fiend Peter. Your job's to sell the product, not inhale it. Blazing hells. Expect to pick up today, M. So this is another fist deck location. Anything new here? Nope. It's apparently the same orders again. Which is weird because they're both directed at Louis. That almost seems like it was a mistake that they used the same letter twice in this game because unless there's two Louis, that would be a weird note on its own. Alright, I'm gonna go find a vendor, cause, or, or I guess just, I might even just take the long, the long trip back, or something. Cause yeah, it, when I'm, a, I believe I don't, when I'm on a horse, faster, I can still go full speed, right? Yeah. So I'm overburdened, but I can still make the trip. So I guess I'll see you guys in a little while when I get back to the merchant. Now with my stolen, well, murdery goods. Bit of, a, oh hello, scorpion monster. See you later. Yeah, a bit of a surprise to find the place entirely unguarded. Oh. Found my way towards some hidden treasure. We're on our way there. Just kind of followed the path a bit, and we're right over... Yeah, just up slope. Anything gonna fight me? I heard dramatic music. Said hidden treasure. Is it this body? A storm, damn it. Pastoral Diary of Father Glyphreid. An crypt key. Let's take a look at that real quick going on here? Assume I've got to read the diary. Come on. Journal is covered in blood, heavily damaged. Only last page could be made out. My wanderings for the fire's glory next took me to preach to Brunwick. The village curled around the lake, and lo and behold, what did the most holy flames illuminate for me there? A hive of hardened heathens, too lost in sin to lift a cursed finger to care for the hearth of the eternal flame. Filled with divine wrath, I asked them, Why is your chapel in such a sorry state? Why is your cemetery all covered in weeds? Their response? Ghosts. Curses fallen upon hollowed ground. They blame it on the elderman's wife. They say she went mad from riches and illegible fragment. And ever since that tragedy, chapels lain in ruins with no one daring to go near. So the task falls on me to guide these foolish lost sheep back to the righteous path and away from the rubbish they believe. I intend to enter the chapel alone, armed only with a torch of the internal flame to light my path, and we'll see what lurks within. And now he's dead. Surprise. Turns out that may have been a poor, a poor plan on his part. Alright, what's right up slope there? I think I'm actually going to go ahead south instead. At least, on, let's let's finish the quest we were already on and sell what I found. And, and it's not particularly out of my way to do so. And then when I'm not overburdened, I can look at I can look into what's going on there. It's definitely somewhat amusing that these guys are. There's two merchants here, and both of them are like, we can't do our jobs properly because our stuff is missing, and they're both right next to each other. And like, we just kind of run this place, but one day we'll be able to do our what we want to do. Maybe if we get our stuff back. Can you help us? At least, I guess this guy technically still has a store, he just can't do his cool stuff. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. 
haven't managed to recover all your diagrams. Ah, want to be relied on. This I knew. You restore the faith I might have in men. For I've now received aid from a stranger in even this land the most barbarous. Don't mention it, really. As agreed, I shall draft your duplicates, though it may take a day. Be so kind as to return tomorrow. Your reward I will have for you. All right. Tomorrow, then. All right, so it looks like this will have given me access to some sort of brand new... Some kind of brand new armor set, like Griffin and Wolf and all that stuff. But it's just whatever he has available for me. I'm bummed out I can't play Gwent with him. But he is from a foreign land, so maybe they don't even know how to play Gwent. Which is even more of a pity, because then he'd be an easy win. Uh, let's get rid of this Flaming Rose armor. It's taking up all my inventory space. Uh, not Griffin, obviously. Flaming Rose swords. I do realize that there are places where I could get a, a better value, but at some point, it's just about clearing out the space. I think I am going to get rid of the New Moon armor. I don't necessarily place that much value in collecting it just for the sake of having it around all the time. I don't necessarily think it's ultimately worth it. I like this one tunic better anyway. Flaming Rose gauntlets. That's what both of those are. Don't feel the need to keep those around. And I won't use the sword. And... Let's see... Caroline has... A, it's only Axie. Probably won't use that one ever either. So we'll go ahead and sell that. Making some of our money back. We're still... We don't still have the money we had before we met these merchants because I've... I bought a few expensive items and then bought... Uh, put 5,000 into starting that place up. I probably won't use these boots ever again either. I specifically, I specifically just like having the ornate robe around because it looks cool. What am I wearing right now? Am I still wearing the... I'm still wearing the crimson armor, huh? Whoops. Yep. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. It was minorly amusing to go wiping them all out using their own equipment, but ultimately I don't really want to wear that. Because this robe looks cool. Especially with the glasses and the ponytail. Like, that's a specific configuration that makes me look like I'm, I'm from... Uh, like I'm supposed to be a, like a, a, someone who either is or knows a decker or a fixer. I look, I actually look just out of place with this timeline, basically, with this with this specific equipment setup. He's down to just over a grand, so I'm bleeding him dry at the moment. There we go. That's the extra armor sold off. Roach, come on over here. We got a chapel to explore. I'll take your horse. Your horse is mine now. Hey look, it's his amazing horse that he raced me on and he put so much prize and possession into. Bye! Oh, we're, we're kind of stuck here. Well, this is awkward. I guess I'll just hop off of here real quick. Hit! There we go. <laughs> it would have been funny just to steal it straight outright though. Because he just talked about how much, how much he prizes his horse and his whole religious connotations about horses, and then I just hop on his horse and take off, like, Bye! See you later! This is what I'm trading for those diagrams, I guess. So, there's underground passages in this chapel. And out of curiosity, let's check to see if this is a new quest or an old one. Quality has its price. Witcher contract. It's probably a treasure hunt, right? Oh, Cursed Chapel! This is actually a Hearts of Stone mission. Good to know. No, not always entirely easy to tell. They said spirit, so I'm going to get Eardin ready. Can I not... Do I need to burn this stuff down? Or... Ard? How do I go down there? Maybe fire? Maybe I can burn it away? Um... Um... Not sure what's going on here. Maybe I'll try this side. I can't go in these holes. Alright. Maybe this isn't the way to, place to go to. Maybe I have to go... I probably have to go into the chapel itself. And find the way into the underground crypts. And that's probably just a hint of like... Oh, look! That's where you're going to end up going. And maybe even an element of like... That's the... Uh, that's probably also where the, the source of light in that room where I might have to fight something. This is a pretty extensive looking area. 
Let's quen up real quick. Is this door open? Sure does. Let's go ahead and... I unequipped my torches a few episodes ago. Just remembered that. Let's get those back on real quick. No. I have nine torches. Do you even consume torches in this game? I don't remember. I don't remember ever having to think about how many torches I have left, but I seem to be collecting more of them as if they're a resource that runs out. Oh, hello. Things that can be lit on fire for better lighting. I am a fan of lighting. There we go. Look at this place. Pretty sweet. Kind of makes me want to put the torch away just to see what it looks like in here. Can I keep doing that around here? There's rumblings going on. Oh yeah, here's the same... Yep, there's the roof that we were looking at. Alright, your place is sufficiently... Oh, cursed mother. Hi, buddy. Huh? How you doing? Um... Put that coin up real quick. Get ready with Iridin. Get it right in the middle of this area. Where I can more clearly maneuver. There we go. Come get me. Oh, burn! Oh, no. Yeah. Burn! Alright, well this is gonna be a long fight, apparently. Because she's got hit points for days? And the fire does not seem to hurt her. So I pretty much just have to spam these attacks, apparently. Oh, there she goes again. Quen up again. How you feel? How do you like the slowdown, lady? Oh, crap. Crap, crap. She started taking way less damage all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. The damage is back. Do not be concerned. All is good. All is just in the world. Let's get those Eardens back down real quick. Because they're totally going to expire in a moment anyway. There we go. I kind of wish there was an on-screen timer. I don't think there is to tell you how long the Eardens will last. I imagine that Geralt is enough of an expert that he would probably know exactly how long they're going to last. So it would not be unreasonable to show an on-screen representation of how long they're going to last. Oh, this is when she starts multiplying everywhere. And, oh no, and she starts healing. Oh god. Alright, this might take a while. This might take a while. This might take a while. Quen. Uh... Demetrium blocks magic abilities. There we go. Did I, did I even hit her with it? I would hope that it would stop her from multiplying all over the place like crazy. Don't know how effective that's going to be in this situation though. Oh, there goes the Yerdin. That's bad for me. That is bad for me. And I went and just started muting my own abilities to cast spells, which is also not good to do. Someone's been giving me shit. A few t Some people have been giving me shit for uh, trying to do sword fights when I'm clearly wearing griffin armor. It's like, do you not understand that like some of these enemies don't... Like, spells don't always work on enemies, unfortunately. They did for a long time. So like, for a very long chunk of the main campaign, I was confidently sticking with my spellcasting build. But towards the end of the game, and a lot of this DLC, we're fighting enemies that... Uh, oftentimes the spells just don't seem to do any damage to. So I've just gotta move on and do other things and just adapt. Despite it not being what my, what my character's built for, you just gotta change what you're doing. It's the same thing of like why I talk about giving Scary Sally a, a gun, even though she's a melee specialist, just because sometimes melee's a bad idea. That's not Iridin. Right, at least she's half dead. That's good news. Half dead, well, half re dead. She's halfway to being double dead. We need to find these extras. At least that works. You can do ranged attacks. Yeah, the fire doesn't help me. doesn't help me there, but it, do it does help me when they multiply. Just because any sort of attack will dispel, dispel the uh, the illusions. And if you spell dispel the illusions, she can't heal, I believe. That's the primary thing that's going to prolong this fight, is, is letting her heal. Buddy. Pretty much just... Out. Pretty much just dumbly going in for the attack instead of thinking about it too much. There we go. So it's really about just doing as much damage as possible. Down. Down, girl. Oh, that's the real one. I can tell because my spells were useless. 
Uh, Earden needs to happen right now. Oh. Earden's back. Back again. Alright. Ow. Just says I'm switching to Quen, so not too big of a deal. Put some more holes in her. Oh. Okay, she got me a little bit. We'll be fine, though. You gonna come back over here? Come on, come fight me. Oh, look who's all sneaky. Look who's all sneaky. Man, I'm not doing any damage to her. Is she not in my... There we go. Is it because she keeps drift? Does she keep drifting out of my bubbles too much to take proper damage? Come on, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh. There we go. Nope. Here she comes. Oh no, I'm out of range. She must be stopped. That's the real one, apparently. Weird. She only does like one. Some of the other enemies have done a lot more than one. Uh, ghost to attack. Especially the first one I had to fight of this, which was also a very long, difficult fight. It kind of got easier from there. Going for the attack. If I dodge back periodically, I don't have to recast Quen because I either prevent or avoid her attack. Oh, there she is. Oh, no, that's the real her. I thought she was duplicating. Again. Quen. Put down my Irridans probably for the last time. Carefully. There we go. Back to Quen. Oh, here she comes. Igni is set. Down she goes before getting to heal. Come over into my bubble. Come on. Come into my domain. Come into my domain within your domain. Nope. There we go. Down. That went cleanly enough. Infused Dust, Spectre Dust, Night Wraith, Hair, Dark Essence. Wow. So that was kind of cool, because that was all a very incidental thing for a DLC. You could have easily never seen this. Runestone Florin's Cavalry Saddle. And the Farewell Note. Someone got to write something before they die, it sounds like. Let's actually look at these things real quick, because I haven't been equipping my stuff properly. No, that's not an upgrade. That one is the upgrade. Let's put the new saddle on I got from earlier, from that race. And I think that's it. Alright. Just wanted to make sure I actually look through that stuff, because I haven't been properly. I like that I have two masks and glasses now. It's too bad I can't wear the glasses over anything. Uh, Edberth's... Or Edberth's farewell note. Uh, I've not left. Not a blooming thing. All I can do now is pass on my family's tale of horror and woe. Then pass on myself. As soon as I've written it uh, all up in this letter. Seems a faded dream now. But there was a time where we were happy. My beautiful wife, Ornestra, and myself. We were married in high style. With a fitting feast. Then a year later, our dear Mildberga was born. F uh, folk praised the Ween's beauty. Said she were the spitting image of her mom. Ornesta's get get uh Ornesta would get old cross when they talked about like talked like that, but I paid it no heed at the time. Soon enough our family grew. First Matilda, then Ethel came into the world, both fair as angels, but Ornesta, well I'll never forget the eve she sat there, combing her hair her long chestnut hair while the girls cried and cried. I said to her, Love, I reckon the lasses are hungry. That's when she lashed out at me for the first time. Said she'd no right. Said they'd no right to be hungry. They'd stolen her beauty and her youth. This should be more than enough to feed on. I should have known it then. I should have guessed madness had burrowed into my love's head. Every compliment paid to her lasses, beauty made it burrow even deeper year by year. The young ones grew taller and more lovely, but time, time's not so kindly to the old. The Ernesta and Ernesta weren't spared its cruelty, which took her skin spring and its sheen of youth. One night, I was awoken by a startling moon, which lit all the world in an eerie glow. I looked around the hut and saw it empty. I ran out the door and followed a set of bare footprints, leading to the cemetery by the chapel. Seeing that, my heart jumped into my throat. I found them, all three, lying around the fountain. Were I not, were I not been there, my their father, I'd have never recognized them. 
Deep gashes mutilated their fair faces. Strips of skin and hunks of flesh were strewn about. As I stood beholding its, this butchery, I had the feeling someone was watching me. And I weren't mistaken. Ernesta stood there on a stool by a lone tree. She had a rope draped around her neck like some demonic necklace. They took it all from me. All of it. All I had. All I cherished, she said. Then she jumped. She's dead. My Ernesta. My three daughters. Dead as well. I'll soon join them. I've taken all I have and gave it to the gods. Perhaps they'll forgive me and my beloved Ernesta.